You come up here and you say, it's all perfect. You come down here and you say, oh my God, it stinks. If you stand in either one of those, you're standing somewhere. And there is nowhere to stand. you know it in um, physics, genetics, astronomy, the way the planets move. You allow that the planets are all moving lawfully, but you don't think of yourself as part of that lawful structure. But then you see that everything that is in form is in law, and you look at it, you see it all. And at that moment, you look out and you say, it's all unfolding perfectly. It's a strange place to be in. It's not human. It's a place you're looking at it from here and you see it's all perfect. And if somebody falls down in front of you, you say, perfect, karma. This is karma. It's a cold place. It's like a cold blue place. Water. 
There's more violence, there's more terrorism. That is relatively real, and so is that one. You are both the one, you are an awareness, you are an astral entity, you're a psychological entity, you're a physical entity. You're a set of biochemical electrical patterns. You are an illusion. That's all equally real. How do you live with all that? Do you do it sequentially? I said to Emmanuel, what's my work on earth? Emmanuel said, you're in a school. Why don't you try taking the curriculum? Why don't you try being human? I'd never thought of that. I was so busy trying to get high, trying to become spiritual and push my humanity away. Freedom was going to come through form, not in spite of it. That incarnation isn't an error. That we are not in the wrong place at this moment. That where you are is exactly where you are supposed to be at this moment. You may think it's an error because it's too hard for you as a human being to handle what's happening. If you get so immersed in your humanity that you forget your divinity, you're clinging, clinging of mind. And you, cut, you end up being trapped in righteousness. Yeah. 